taking it that way. So it was uh, it was nuts and it was a lot of fun. You also hit a lot of levels this year. Yeah. yeah. Did anything as you moved up through the levels that you went through because not a whole lot of guys are able to do that. Did you feel like anything surprised you at all? Um, I think the most the most surprising thing was uh, the the fielders and how they played and how they approached their at bats uh, as you got from level to level to level. And uh, when uh, Jose Abreu may have just injured himself on this tag over at first, let's take a look. Kipnis ran through the tag and Abreu got swatted. Looked like he might have gotten whacked in the face also. Go ahead, Zach. You were saying? Uh, I was just saying how uh, when you go from level to level, the higher up you go, the more uh, the more intense the guy in the field, the guys in the field are when it comes to uh, uh, their uh, their approach to their bats, their approach to the game, and uh, how they handle uh, uh, adversity. And uh, that was probably the biggest difference was the hitters and the pitchers, of course. Uh, the control, the velo uh, bumps up, and uh, the stuff gets better, and just the overall play. Now, one thing you can't teach, there's a lot of things you can teach, whether it's pro ball, college ball, or high school baseball. The one thing you can't teach is velocity. You have that in abundance. So then you go back to mechanics. Did they change anything, or did they say, look, he's a young enough guy, we will sit, watch him for a bit, and see what happens? Yeah, no, they uh, they let me kind of run with it for a little bit, and then uh, a couple weeks went by when I was in Winston Salem, and then Hosey was working with me and said, uh, We're going to work on staying on top of the ball, and maybe we open up our hips a little bit more.